All right, guys, uh, this is going to be the uh, guillotine or guillotine sweep to the back. Now, we're basically executing the front headlock on our back. I'm rocking my opponent to his hip, kind of whittling away at their power, their ability to move, their ability to be explosive, and I'm attacking the back from there. So uh, hopefully this will make sense in that context. So I can grab. So when we were on top of the turtle here, I was getting behind by bringing my knee behind, bringing my head there, bringing my hand there, or bringing my inside knee there. As I mentioned during the, that older clip, bringing my inside knee was my least favorite because it was the most committed and it actually put me alongside this person instead of encompassing this person. I was no longer facing them. I was actually parallel to him for a quick second and then pivoted to the corner to face him. When I brought, if Adam's in front of me and I bring my right knee, assuming a right side front headlock, I bring my right knee in front and then turn to face. That's my least, the one, the one that in concept I like the least um, as I move behind when this person's on their knees. Now, when they're on their side, they're less mobile, but I'm on my side, so I'm less mobile. So what you're gonna see here is gonna be a guillotine sweep followed by an inside switch of my knee, which is actually gonna get me behind the guy, which depending upon what they do, could land in the leg drag, could land in the seatbelt, could land in the Merkel, but this is allowing me to move behind my partner when he's on his hip, and this is gonna be pretty valuable from that perspective. So, can I bring So here we are. I slide in from my guillotine, and now I'm using my left elbow here to get my right knee inside and move behind. It seems a little nutty, but it's actually really, really, really reliable, at least in my experience. If we come back again, please. Just as in the arm and guillotine clip, I don't necessarily have to slide into the space that's occupied currently by Adam's arms. I can slide super, super deep, getting my hips all the way behind him. So again, rather than if you reach up around me, this will do that's just fine. And all I'm gonna do is one, two, three, build behind Adam. And if he starts building, that leaves me all the way towards his back. <clears throat> if his arms stay in front, guarding the space underneath of his hips, that's completely fine. All I'm going to do is actually slide past him and actually kind of attempt like a pinch headlock throw, but from my butt. So if we come back, even if I can't get myself in here traditionally, I'm like, cool, how do you feel? Can you be heavy? The deeper I get with my hips, the more I can affect him. So it's really not that big a deal that I slid all the way past him. It's something to keep in mind. I actually learned this from Jeff Glover and Bill Cooper. Um, if we come back, both arm and guillotine masters. If we're here, I can easily get my right knee into the hip and directly affect Adam's hips. I can try to come up like I'm looking to claim this for an anaconda, you name it. I'm gonna go past one, past two, past three, and swim my arms behind. So again, if, if you can kind of conceptualize this in your mind, I'm, I'm pivoting behind this person in the same way I would if we were both on our knees, only we're both on our hips. I have the threat of the guillotine, you know, leveled at him more powerfully, and I have broken down his ability to, to move against me. So if we come back one more time, just from this, and then we'll show from a couple different angles. Um, this time, I'm unable to get in here. I'm already packed. I bump him. I make sure that I'm on the outside of his arms. I'm looking to get my knee into the space behind his arm, and we're behind. I'm in knee on stomach, leg drag, depending upon how this ends up here. Now the last part of me that I need to get behind Adam is my right arm, which puts me in the arm triangle, unless of course he turns away, which puts me in the Merkel or the seat belt, depending upon the side of him that I hop onto. So let's show a couple different angles. Let's show, uh, if we're facing this way, please do, uh, like towards me, thank you. If Adam reaches up with his right arm, arms around, space is open to the inside, bump him. Cool. I try to mount. Adam's not having it. Well, no worries. Again, it'll start with an arm triangle, but as Adam is the assertive high-level grappler that he is, 
is going to move, move, move. He's not going to accept that negative position. In all likelihood, we're going to end up on the back. So one more time, let's face this away. Or actually, get away from the camera. If you step on my hips, if you block my knees, I'm like, uh-oh, catch one. I can help myself here. Catch two. And you're going to be able to slide behind. So once you get the idea of moving your body behind your opponents, any little bit is like the t any little bit of you is like the tip of the shovel that you're going to start to put behind him, little by little by little by little by little, dig the rest of yourself in there, and you're going to be able to take the back from Daniel anyway. 